Anita Evans here for Video Language Network, the unique website for authentic English video lessons. Here at Video Language Network, we believe that improving your English begins by watching and listening to English as it is spoken in the real world. Let's begin our lesson by watching and listening to what Tom, an American filmmaker, has to say about living and surviving in New York City. Are you ready? Let's watch. Hi, Anita Evans here in New York City. Today we're speaking with Tom Small, video director and editor, hiker, biker, and enthusiastic New Yorker. Hi, Tom. Hi. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. How do you get around New York? Do you take public transportation? Uh, yeah, I take the subway or I ride my bike. That seems dangerous to me. Uh, most days it seems pretty dangerous to me too. Uh, I wear a helmet and I try to be careful and I try to stick to the bike paths which are out of traffic. But uh, yeah, I, I think about that a lot. I try to, I go into each day thinking, well, I could get hit by a bus today. So I have to make sure I call my mom and tell her I love her. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> so, how did it go? If you found the interview a challenge to understand, don't worry. This is normal. Let's continue. I asked Tom how he gets around New York. Get around is a phrasal verb. A phrasal verb is a verb joined with a preposition that creates a new meaning. To get around has several different meanings, but in Tom's case, it means to be able to go to different places without difficulty. Here's an example. It's difficult to get around the countryside if you don't have a car. Here's another phrasal verb that Tom uses. He says he sticks to the bike path when getting around New York on his bicycle. To stick to means to keep doing one particular thing. Here's an example. The others are all drinking champagne, but I will stick to water. Or you could ask someone, could you stick to the point, please? This means to only talk about what you're supposed to talk about. One last phrasal verb. Did you hear Tom say, I go into each day thinking, well, I could get hit by a bus today. Here, to go into means to start or enter something, but not in a physical sense. Tom means to say that he starts the day thinking he could get hit by a bus. For example, you can go into a relationship. You can even say, I go into each marriage thinking I'll be happy. We hope you have enjoyed today's mini lesson from Video Language Network. For more free lessons like this one, plus our super expanded version, join us at our website at www.videolanguagenetwork.com. At our website, you can also download transcripts, vocabulary aids, and exercises that will help you improve your English language skills. Well, that's all for now. Look for us next time on your local podcast sites. This is Anita Evans for Video Language Network.